Yeah, welcome back, Patriots. And um, going through the videos, I must have 70 videos, between 60 and 70 easily, uh, that I have from going through over this weekend. And of course, I'm finding little gems here and there. And this will kind of encompasses a little bit of everything. Uh, this is an architect and uh, who firmly believes, of course, that 9-11 was an inside job. So for all of you skeptics out there, I mean, um, go through my videos and look at how many architects and engineers that I've spoken to uh, that, you know, swear on their mother's graves that lay their reputations down that these uh, those buildings came down by controlled demolition. Ha! Ah. So, I don't know why they lie to you. And, uh, of course, we get into all the, we get into different aspects here of uh, what's going on. A little bit of Assange and a little bit of the, a uh, little bit of craziness. And uh, we even have a cuck pop in along the way. And then we have a, uh, it's a you know, a, a critic. A critic comes in to try to... Uh, you know, tell me how to do my job better. Uh, I always like it. I mean, I'm always up for, you know, constructive criticism. I, God knows I'm not, I know I'm not real, I'm not perfect at what I'm doing. I, I need, uh, I, I could use some improvement. But I would challenge anybody to get out on the streets from uh, nine in the morning till four or five in the afternoon, three days, four days a week, doing what I do, and try to maintain perfection. Good luck. Uh, drive most people insane, I think. Maybe I am. But uh, anyway, uh, and then I got a little silliness at the end for you here, a little entertainment uh, showing you. Oh man, still got some moves. So I uh, hope you enjoy it. And uh, if you do, of course, you know what to do. You hit the like button, you subscribe, and then resubscribe, and share, share, share. And then, of course, um, contribute if you can. Go to my PayPal account, or go to my website and become a patron and, and get one of my designs. That'd always be good. So I really appreciate it. Thanks for coming by. Uh, if you can't do anything else, please pray for me out there. God knows I need him. So here we go. Let's get on the streets. Today I had the opportunity to speak to uh, a recently retired Department of Homeland Security <laughs> head of critical infrastructure. Uh -huh. <laughs> it was a great conversation. I'm sure it was. It really was. What yeah. did you share? Uh, well, we, you know, because it was talking, he was talking about critical infrastructure. Yeah. Oh, was, the star I, of course, immediately went to false flags. Yeah. yeah. Well, and, I didn't think it was interesting yesterday that it was 411, 411. What he got for information? Yeah. But he was he was good. He was candid. Yeah. I guess he could be now because he's retired and all yeah. that. He was candid. We got into 9/11. Uh huh. And I brought up architects Art and engineers for 9/11 uh -huh. Truth. Oh, yeah. And he was familiar with them. He was an Infowars listener. Oh really? Yes. <laughs> this is the Alex. Yes. Oh, yeah. And he questions 9/11. Everybody does. Oh, who wouldn't? You would yeah. think. I mean, I you mean, know, you don't have to be an architect. Evidence, it, it free fell for eight or nine floors. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I just blows my mind to people that like still the believe the official story when you know you don't have to be an architect or an engineer to you know see the yeah to see the, the facts yeah the footage come on yeah. I don't know I mean, exactly but this was huge yesterday and I, I know I asked three of my young employees and they didn't know who he was because yeah. I, I was yeah. going in there going I said it's today it's four yeah they love numbers. Yes, well, yes, it's always it, <laughs> indeed. Yeah, I mean the they, information in the book that he was carrying by Gore Vidal. Uh, it says the people lack the information to know, and that's what he was saying. Yeah, I mean, 
Uh, and the no. question is, is he being brought here as a witness? That's it. Or defendant? That's it. That's it. Yeah. Is he going to be Arkansas or is he going to be protected? Yeah. Well, he, I saw an article on Zero Hedge this morning or something about Hillary Clinton say he's got some answers. But you got some answers. Well, yeah, well, it's always <laughs> been, you know, a puzzlement why Mueller never questioned Assange. I mean, yeah. he's ground zero for all the information. Yeah, yeah. Well, why wouldn't then, he just I, go to him and say, well, who gave you that? Because he knows too much of well, the Mueller, Mueller had Seth Rich. His, yeah, Mueller had, like, why did Boulder kill him in jail? You know, it goes yeah. way back to Boston when he was, uh, you know, deputy DA there. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, her, her brother used to be his one of his bodyguards, and he got out of the FBI. <laughs> yeah. he, got out, said it was he went to work in the private the sector where he's appreciated. I know. Well, obviously, I'm a magnet for military police and government workers out here. Yeah, I so I've talked to I've talked to Trump's uh, Secret Service, a couple of his uh, Secret Service guys, who also, you know, protected Clinton. And I asked them, what's the difference? Because they were cool. They, well, at best, she tolerated us. Trump, the first day, called us individually into the office, sat us down, said, have you got any problems I can take care of? Because I want you, you know, protecting me and not worrying about right. anything right. else. Yeah. And he says he treats us like individuals, like people, greets us. It's always, you know, yeah. there. Yeah. So all the stories I heard about people that have personal contact with him have been positive. If you screw him over, look out. Yeah. Then he then he'll come at you. But other than that, he seems to I be. Just, I just think he fixes guns. I mean, like yesterday, he said something about I don't know anything about WikiLeaks, but then there was a video on sure. YouTube of him saying it like 314 times during the campaign. <laughs> He is a master at trolling and marketing. You know exactly what you're talking about. Don't deny it. But I mean, I love that. I'm hoping to God he sees it. I mean, just because. And the day before, Barr said to the Senate, uh, that woman, he's like, he's like, yeah. I can't believe you just asked me. Yeah, I just said it was fine. <laughs> I can't believe you just asked did me you, there was fine. I think it was some great gems in the news here the past few days. One, Candace Owens. Mm-hmm. Lit them up. Yeah. She Lit them up. Them. Yeah. And did you catch Maxine Waters? Oh, yeah. In Steve front Mnuchin. of the bankers? Yeah, Steve Mnuchin. Well, I saw the Steve Mnuchin thing, but I didn't. She's uh, head of the banking watch. committee. Yeah, yeah, and she yeah, didn't yeah. know. In fact, it's, see where all her money came from. <laughs> You know, her and her husband, and, and Diane Feinstein yes. and her husband. <laughs> Talking about... Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> so I think the worm's turning, man. I think we're finally going to start seeing... I hope so. Oh, wow. I hope so, because yeah, otherwise we're heading straight into, you know... Oh, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, indeed. Indeed we are. Yeah. Speaking of, do you get a lot of um, flack for being here? Ninety-eight percent of what I get is positive. The two percent that I get is, that's BS. That skinny jean pencil neck nitwits that <laughs> they're easily done with. I mean, you know, I mean, those are classic. I mean, if you go to the back of this, get out of jail free card from Hillary Clinton. <laughs> I have a YouTube channel, so I, I, I film a lot of my counters out here. And there was a, a woman comes up and she, we started going round and round, you know, she, that's disgusting, you know, all that bullshit. I'm like, well, what's disgusting? That's disgusting. You know, and of course she wouldn't give me any specifics, and I'm going, and then a crowd got around, you know, and, and uh, she, I've got a PhD, what do you got? You know, and then the crowd busts up. The classic was, she, she goes, he's done nothing for the black people. Black woman standing there and goes, oh, yes, he has. <laughs> she looks up, like, what do you know? You're not so, to what? You're not to yeah. <laughs> I hate Trump with a passion, but I do respect your views. So. Why would you hate him? I'm from San Francisco. There's a good reason why. Oh, is that it? Uh, no, is that, that, that's a reason? There's a lot of reasons to hate him. He's then give me one. He's a sexist. When did he ever Biden said that was racist? Dick, dick for the economy. When did he ever said that was racist? Name one thing he ever said. serious? I, but what do I look like? His policies about the border. What's, about detaining, what's racist about, detaining, about the border? The Dreamers, the DACA program. Are you what's serious? racist about everything. keeping illegal? Like, everything. What's everything? Give me a yeah, specific. You can't give me a specific. <laughs> 
that. You guys are all sheep. You're brainwashed. Whatever. Not you are. You can't give me a specific <laughs> and we're the ones that are brainwashed and now you're vulgar. So you're vulgar and you're stupid. Thank you very much. It's not a good look for us. <laughs> See? No, what did I tell you? Uh, that's the two. Yeah. <laughs> Take it easy. Oh, thank you very much. Of course, our immigration laws. Oh, yeah, and I know. You, you're a racist. <laughs> we want a secure border. What the hell, man? Uh, look, I've got, I've got a girl from El Salvador who works for me. She's here on an H1B visa. Yeah. She's here to leave. Many do. Yeah. I got, and, and a guy from a guy with an ACLU thing about gay rights. I turned around and said, wait a minute, I got yeah. two gay employees. What rights, what, are, what, what, are, what rights do they not have? Oh, what rights do they have? I've been discriminated against here because I was heterosexual. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> this place is like a gay cesspool for <laughs> right out loud. I mean, Jesus, these people. I don't care. So. No, I don't Better give a hell. What are we, what I was just going to say, that, that guy was really stupid, but that's not really a nice way to talk to people. Oh, oh okay, okay. He wasn't talking nice either. Yeah, I mean, he was talking about Trump, but I mean, it's it's easy when you look at the media to like have those feelings. If you want to like spread the message of like conservatism, I think it takes a little. I don't know. It's not conservatism. Well, you, really is more well, you know, I, I would have. I asked him a question. Okay. He wouldn't give he me an he answer. He didn't have a good answer. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, what was I? And then you know, you can grant you. I will. I've had good conversations out That's here with good. him, but good. nothing I was going to say to that guy. And not, and no matter how I said it, yeah. I mean, wouldn't, have yeah. wouldn't have made a difference. Yeah. Wouldn't have made a difference. Yeah. You're probably right. You're probably. Oh, right. I'm a pro at this. Believe me, I know I'm right. Here, go check out my YouTube channel. You'll see. Right the back of the get out of jail free card. You'll see it. <laughs> well, funny. I want to know what you would say to him because uh, most kind of say it. Trump's a racist, but it's you not, give an example why. That's yeah, what I, I, just, I would just keep asking him questions. Asking well, I did. I says, can you give me a specific? He didn't have a good answer. I says, give me a specific. And he kept on coming back with these bland generalities. Yeah. I says, you're not giving me anything. And People then he shoots a bird at me. Yeah. Did, did, did yeah. you guys yeah. have a curiosity? How much are the Trump hats? And the board. How much are the Trump hats? I don't work here. I don't work here. Here now, I'm just passing by. Okay. Yeah, we don't want I'm not in the state of mind to answer that question, though. I've had a few. None of us all talking. Yeah. None of us work here. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. Hey, cheers, guys. Have a good yeah. day. Yeah. It, 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 Six and seven. You, you know what? Uh, people should be paying attention to the kid who started the walk away movement. Yeah, they are. Oh, God bless you. Go check out my site. I will. Yeah. You can get a lot of my designs at apparel. They come with a trigger back guarantee. If you don't trigger a liberal, you'll get your money back.
what do you think? The old man still got some moves, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I did kind of quite a bit of dancing out there, all that music out there. I couldn't help myself, you know. I don't know how people can stand still when it's a good music horn. Never been able to figure that one out. But, you know, if you like it, you like it. So, uh, thanks for stopping by and got a lot more videos coming. If I don't just croak in front of this computer. So, God bless you. Thank you very much and see you soon.